we'll start out with roll call. Does that? Well, that's just passing. Okay, the... we passed it around, so that's taken care <laughs> yeah, of. Yeah, everybody signed the. <laughs> okay, Karen wants to read the minutes of the July meeting or June meeting, so we'll start with that. Um, I did send these out, but I wasn't sure if everybody got them in. Since we didn't have a meeting in July, I thought I'd bring everybody up to date by reading the June meet minutes. And I left my glasses at home, so I hope I can read them. <laughs> Did you want these? These are just reading. Goodbye, <laughs> yep. yeah. Actually, they were good, but you might need them. Oh, well, when I can share that for you. Yeah, we'll <laughs> share. Um, Superior Historical Commission meeting minutes, June 21st. The meeting was called to order by Chairperson Larry Dorsey. In attendance were Commission members Mary Cartwright, Larry Dorsey, Vicki Kuffner, Katie Olson, Jill Roberts on the phone, Errol Walagorski, and Karen Walagorski. Staff Brian Meyer, Town Board Member Laura Squidzinski. Okay. No worries. <laughs> and others, Paul Gibbs and Maureen Hoke. The minutes of the May 17th meeting were read by members outside the meeting. Katie approved that the Katie moved they be approved. Vicki Kuffner seconded the motion and the motion carried. Next, the agenda for the meeting was approved. Moved by Mary Cartwright and seconded by Errol Walagorski. Public comment. Maureen Hogue, 323 Pheasant Run, Louisville, passed out a new version of the Superior Historical Commission webpage. She will continue working with Karen Snortland on updating historical content on the town website. The treasurer's reports were given as follows. In Bob Morgan's absence, Brian Meyer reported that the historic donations account currently has a balance of $579.71. He also reported that there is $4,318.38 remaining in the 2019 Historic Preservation Account. Debriefings were discussed as follows. The museum opening on June 1 had several visitors, including Avery, the little girl who likes to sit in the school desk at the museum and who also wants to become a volunteer when she gets older, and also Danny Kuffner. The work session with the town board on June 10th went very well with good discussion among all members. It was agreed that when necessary, our members will have the ability to call in to our meetings. No one attended an ANFRAM meeting this month as we received no, no notification that there was one. No one attended the Boulder Heritage Roundtable meeting on June 20th. There was a special museum opening on May 18th in conjunction with the displays and demonstration by the Woodwright Shop. There were a few museum visitors and several visitors to the Woodwright shop. Heidi Zeltinger from the town staff has hung the phone in the museum and will be planting flowers out around the outside. The cataloging, filing, and donation screening committee did not meet this month. Vicki Kupfner stated that she is interested in participating in the cataloging. Jill reported on the oral history video QR project. She will have the script and prototype finished in August. Karen Walagorski reported that a thank you note was sent to Danny Kupfner for his recent donation of the two-person saw and the large pipe wrench. A note needs to be sent to the Boy Scouts for their $50 donation to us. Brian Meyer reported that he has had a conversation with Denise Grimm about future plans for the cemetery since it was a designated Boulder County landmark a few years ago. He has also been in contact with the people that did the ground penetrating radar a few years ago, since there are plans to do another one. Vicki Kupfner stated that her aunt has a lot of knowledge about the history of the, set, <coughs> the history of the cemetery, and she also has some old pictures to share with us. Which I need to get. <laughs> I, I have a typo there should be history of, not history or. Katie reported on the historic photos at Support Stable Project. She will have some framed pictures ready to display at our booth on the 4th of July. Lindsay Flewelling has led the discussions 
and development of our long-term planning priorities in the past. She is no longer on the commission. However, we will still continue to update the list as needed. We have issued an invitation to the trustees to visit the museum. Laura will find out from them when is the best time for them to visit. Larry proposed taking money out of the historic preservation account to compensate Ron Kaiser for time he spent working on the mine site diorama for which he did not bill us. Members agreed. Katie requested that members email her of any changes they wish to make to her latest brochures as she intends to have the final versions ready to be at our booth on the 4th of July. Under other business, Mary Cartwright suggested that we look into finding some kind of a vertical display case for the museum, as it would not take up as much space and might be more visible than the current horizontal displays, display case we have. It was also brought up that we need a person to do some cataloging at the museum and that possibly we could compensate someone to do that. Um, new business, staffing for the July 6th museum opening was discussed. Staffing for the July 4th activities was also discussed. Riding in the fire truck in the parade as well as staffing the, the truck and our booth in the park after the parade. Next Boulder Heritage Roundtable meeting will be July 18th. Larry announced that we now have another opening on the commission due to Lindsay Pluelling's resignation. We congratulate her on her new position in Central City and thank her for her participation on and contribute contribution to our commission. She will still be a volunteer as her time permits. Larry stated that we may have to have we may want to have a grand opening of the museum for the diorama sometime in the fall. Larry announced that two of the second grade field trips have been scheduled as follows, Superior Elementary on September 27th and El Dorado K-8 on September 13th. Katie informed members that she has been contacted by a member of CAPS to potentially supply some historic pictures to be displayed in the bus shelters in Superior. She will attend a CAPS meeting next Thursday. Members discussed having the fire truck in the Louisville Labor Day Parade again this year. Mary moved that the meeting be adjourned at 11.35 and Wally seconded the motion. Next regular meeting will be July 19th. Any addition or corrections? I hear a motion to accept the minutes as so read. <laughs> Seconded. I second it. Okay. We have enough for a four mile. Okay, so Jill's here too. Yeah, Jill's there. Jill, what did you say? I said I can second. Okay. <laughs> okay, we have uh, public comment. Does Maureen oh, have any? The agenda. Oh, the agenda. I just did. Oh, the, the new one? Okay. Well, I don't know. We have approval of the new agenda? Yeah. I approve it. <laughs> yeah. I'll be the person today. Okay. <laughs> and I'll second it. <laughs> okay. Okay, now we have public comment. Paul, can I go? Paul, who is here from yeah. Oh, I had a question for you, Brian. It isn't so much new business as an old item. A meeting in March, there was a resident of Superior named Gladys, and she was talking about rings across America. She was going to speak to Patrick Cameron about that. Was Gladys trying to raise money to decorate the cemetery in Louisville? Yeah, I mean, I'll have to follow up on that. I don't have any current information on that or where that went, so I can, can look into it. Well, Brian, I am working with Greeks across America. We are trying to raise money to decorate the graves in Louisville. The Broomfield Rotary Club has stepped down from that. They do only the graves of veterans at the two Broomfield cemeteries.
ideas. A friend and I are trying to organize it for this spell. There are 345 days and it takes 7,000 to get the rates to decorate them. So we are looking for a sponsoring group and to raise the money. We need to have it all together by the end of September because it's a 12-week lead time. Even if we worked with the national organization we need today, they could help us get reads, but the local people must provide the funding. So I wondered if it would be relevant for the historical commission. There are people who came from Superior, like my uncle Ray Autry. They're buried over there. So I don't know if this Gladys person could shed some light too. Yeah, does she want to contact Gladys directly? That might be. We can. I can get you her contact. Yeah, contact us. Yeah. Gladys was going to help her raise funds to decorate superiors. Is that what I understand? Yeah, I, I mean, this is back in March. I'll have to, oh, okay. um, yeah, I don't even know if she, I, don't, I haven't heard yes. anything since then. Well, so. I wasn't sure she was aware of the same issue. <clears throat> I've known the Broomfield Rotary Club could not handle that size of a project. For the past two Christmases, they did nothing at Louisville, but it is the 75th anniversary of D-Day and also of the liberation of Rome. So I was hoping we could get some interest there. And they, they decorate it for Christmas? Is that my yeah. understanding? Oh, okay. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So, we get to Louisville? Or... I'm not okay. sure. Thank you. Then, then Patrick didn't have any input for Gladys. Brian, there's no way the commission or the town of Superior could help. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I'll have to look into it. Um, so, I mean, Patrick's last day is today as well, so oh, yeah. um, I'll try to get his ear. <laughs> I think Gladys is pretty sharp, right? And pretty on top of things. So that's probably the best to start there. And so, then contact us if, but not for Louisville. Yes. I know, so I was kind of that's curious. That's what out. I was afraid of, Brian. Something this new and small might fall in the trap. Yeah. How is Louisville connected with Superior Cemetery? They just do all local ones? Well, from know. her point of view, there are people from Close. Superior that are buried in the Louisville right. Cemetery. Mm -hmm. So they raise funds to kind of do all local cemetery, or just Louisville Superior Cemetery? <clears throat> they would just, I mean, she's just looking to take care of the Louisville Cemetery, oh, okay. which is, you know, a larger active right. mm -hmm. cemetery. And <clears throat> the Broomfield Rotary used to pony up decorate them oh, okay. down. It looks like it's cost up seven grand or something. Okay. They're trying to find a way to get some help. Interesting. Okay. And the <coughs> veterans organization that they were talking about would be. Okay. Well, I know Harold Spicer and is in Louisville cemeteries. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So there's family in both cemeteries. Right. Any other things on public discussion? Okay, I guess we'll do the treasurer's report. Uh, yeah, the current balance in historic donations account is $579.71. And the current balance in the historic preservation account is $3,927.97. Did you say three nine seven seven nine seven? Three nine two seven. Oh two seven nine seven. Yeah. Thank you. I know Larry was also regarding that historic preservation account. I know Larry was looking into uh, 
vertical display cases. Um, yeah. So I don't know how much he's communicated to you guys, but I know he's found he a said, couple options potentially. So um, I don't know who all it went to. He sent a, a picture of a, a vertical display yeah. case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was nice looking. Yeah. I thought. Yeah. So I think those. Just kind of, I think, a rough cost, probably, if it gets to that point of purchases. <coughs> probably one, one, one to two thousand, including shipping. So, just something to keep in mind. Um, yeah. With that, with that account. So, yeah. I don't know if we've gotten any more donations. That's on Bob. Um, not that I know of. Where does the preservation money come from, the $4,000? Yeah, the, um, each town committee starts off with, with uh, $5,000 a year oh. um, to spend on, you know, items on their work plan. So, okay. um, so yeah, that's the current balance for the start commission. Yeah. Okay, do we have, move on, we'll go to old business. July 6th. No, I didn't attend that one. Yeah, we didn't have a, a meeting in July I like saw we that. usually do. It. So we're trying to remember what happened here. So the opening of the museum, meaning just the... It one, opens for one day. For one day, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah Saturday. The first Saturday of each month. From 10 to 2. It's open then. That's all. That's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, always that's surprised to hear that, that that's all that's open. But I guess... Being the new guy. Well, it, it's, I don't know whether you want to say it's relatively new, but it's, yeah. we don't get a huge number of people. Um, we have special openings sometimes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And some, some Saturdays we will not have anybody come in, and then other Saturdays we can be swamped. So uh, it's really hard to judge, and uh, it's kind of hard to get people uh, Available in order to open it more than one Saturday a month. Yeah, because I myself, I don't hear about it. I, you know, I don't know how people know. <laughs> well, well you, so I think right now it's in the Sentinel every month, correct? Yeah. The what again? Sentinel? That the museum is open. Oh, yeah. Um, I think, I Larry think it's posted it out is. here on the deal yeah. out here too, isn't it? I wonder if we could send like a separate uh, single email to us oh, yeah. saying the museum is open, don't mm -hmm. forget, because I know a lot that's in the Sentinel, even though it's really valuable, it gets buried. Yeah, yeah, I know. Um, maybe that weekly happenings uh, email that goes out on Monday Oh, morning. yeah. Yeah. That would be great. Do y'all yeah. get that email? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That would be great if we could include it in there. Yeah. Um, yeah, many, many times when I drive by, I said, oh, I wish that were open. Mm -hmm. And it feels to me like it very seldom is, so I never, I don't, yeah. I miss it all the time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so, I don't know. <laughs> so, I, I will jump ahead a little bit in the old business on the agenda with regard to the trustees visiting the museum. We had talked about that. Um, basically, they came back and said for the committee to let the trustees know what are the dates and times that would be good. I'm now wondering what if we what if we could pick a date and time for the trustees to visit and also open it up to the public at that time as like a special date because um, that might you know that might stir up some interest to have it open at a different time as a one-time thing. 
Yeah, we could do that. Did the trustees say have any ideas of when they would be interested in it being open? They just wanted to kind of take yep, off. It was let us know when the committee is <laughs> available. So if, okay. if the committee can come up with a couple dates and times, then we'll let the trustees know and we can choose from okay, there. Do, yeah. do they want this done like early, you know, late afternoon yeah, or early evening, evening or on uh, a Saturday? Or? So I think either an evening or a Saturday or Sunday would be okay. best. I know a couple of our trustees can't do daytime during the week. But I think anything outside of that would definitely be a possibility. Okay. Should we just email after this meeting and uh, since Larry and, and Mary are both gone and see what they think and pick some dates? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah, Larry will be back on Monday. Okay. Okay, on the July 4th, activities we, we had a museum opening on august 3rd also all right yes it's right there yeah that was i was at that one so there was yeah not much attendance but dan was there earlier i guess before i got there because yeah. he and larry got a chair from him. <laughs> a chair yes yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and that's it's not yeah. an antique chair, but he was highly concerned about the one that's sitting in the kitchen that's so wobbly. <laughs> <coughs> so uh, I suppose somewhere down the road we should have the two chairs looked at that are sitting at that table in the kitchen and see if there's something we can do with those to uh, get them to where if somebody sits in them, they won't just collapse on us. Right. Because yeah. they wobble back and forth quite a bit. Well, they are supposedly antiques. Yes, they are. Right. <laughs> who, sits, who sits in those chairs? You're talking about the dining room table the chairs? The kitchen there. The kitchen yeah. right there yeah. at the white table, yeah. Who you sits know. there? Well, Dan happened to. Okay. Yeah, Dan They're right. mostly for display. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I, we don't use them much. And we don't really want, I mean, it doesn't, it's not really laid out for people to no, sit no. there. So. No. But I think on the other hand, we should maybe look at it just in case somebody yeah. pulls it out, sits on it. You know, you may be busy doing something else or talking with somebody or, right. or explaining a, one of the uh, display items and you can't catch them all. And uh, all of a sudden just have that collapse and break them off or. Yeah. yeah just need to be re-glued. Um, yeah, probably so. Maybe. I'm, I'm sure either that probably or with the age, it's maybe uh, worn uh, the pegs around off a little bit where they come up into the seat. It, uh, I don't know if it would be a, a lot of work. Otherwise, if we can't get that fixed, then we probably have to put signs on do not sit on, which we may sh maybe should do anyway. Yeah, I think so, because you don't want them ruined. Yeah, so. but I think we should at least try and address them, and if it's, it's going to be a really hard to do it or, or impossible to, to uh, firm them up, then we'll just have to yeah. make it to a point where they can't sit on them, period. Right at your own risk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I hate to put signs on them too because it looks yeah. uninviting in a way. Cranky. Well we have some we have some stuff in the front room in there. I think we had a sign on there at one time, mm -hmm. rock and chair and some stuff said please do not sit on so yeah. Yeah. uh you know there's like, there's other museums around where they have delicate stuff that they don't want you to sit on. Yeah. Or touch or yeah. pick up. Or touch. Well, yeah, because the oil is off your skin. Right. I can run that past my husband. He can do the glue, glues our own dining room chairs <laughs> from being wobbly, so I could ask him sure. if he wants to do that. Yeah, you can come over. We'll see what. Yeah. We'll look into it further on yeah. what really needs to be done. We have old chairs, too. <laughs> okay, now I guess we can discuss the July 4th. Activities. How'd it go? <laughs> it was, I wasn't there. I thought it was good. I mean, there's a lot of people that attended yeah. the cake. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were a lot of people. Yeah. A lot of people stopped by our booth. Yeah. yeah. A lot of 
Um, they looked at the pictures. Yeah. Anyone interested? Any anyone interested though? Did um, it, I mean, we. I didn't. I never heard from Larry. I emailed him and said, "How did it they go?" They didn't specifically say mm -hmm. that they were interested in looking at them. Yeah. I don't know if we gave um, if it were real clear to people coming by as to what the what we were doing with them. Do you okay. know what I mean? I think it needed. We didn't. I. It. It needed to be a little more simple, or I don't know. Them. People looked at them, but they weren't quite understanding. And the flyer, were the flyers out? Yeah. Yes. That were with it? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah, and, and people took some of those, yeah. yeah. Okay. We had a lot of activity at the fire truck. Give away a lot of fireman's hats and a lot of kids. It's always quite an attraction. Yeah, I thought it went very well. Yeah, I can't, um, Mary rode it in the fire truck. Who did you ride? No, Vicky? I was helping the chamber. Um, I don't can't. I did not ride in the fire truck, but um, it was more than just Mary. I think David did too. Yeah, didn't he? David. Yeah. Could have. And I there wasn't. might have been one other person. <coughs> that I, I wasn't up there, so I. Don't no, know. and I wasn't either. I'm, anyway, it went well. Good. And did the brochures? Were those brochures out too? Brochures. Yeah. Or no. The, yeah. All everything was out. Everything was okay. out. And did people it. give the? I mean, did people like? Did, did you guys get any reaction from those? Yeah. Did you hand um, them out? There were people that I think they took some and they were interested in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There were, like I said, there were a lot of people around. And yeah. Sometimes it was hard to keep track of everything. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. Yeah. sold I, a couple. Katie, I would describe it as things. It was thought provoking for people, but it did not spark any action. Yeah. 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 Um, but the, it, it was positively re received. They would kind of think about it and go, oh, that's a really good idea. That's really cool. Yeah. And it got them thinking, but it wasn't like, oh, where do I sign up today? Yeah. 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 Right. So, so it, we, we haven't bridged from the, this is a good idea, and making that idea known right. to, like I said, taking action on it. Okay. Yeah. And I probably, I think I probably talked to, you know, five people. So, and has had similar curiosity. Yeah, good. So. Anything else on the July 4th? Okay, the Heritage Roundtable. Um, I think Larry may have gone to the July 18th meeting. I don't know what they covered, but the August meeting was canceled. We got a cancellation for that the other day. So, um, that didn't happen. I'm not sure what happened in July. Okay. Okay. And the CAPS meeting? Um, I, I guess that's about the one that I went to. Um, uh -huh. uh, you know, I think they were just at really beginning stages of, so the, the an idea that they have is to put images on the bus shelters. Mm -hmm. um, and so I had given them a digital file and they, I think there's actually an image out still on this bus shelter. So they're exploring what to do with that. And um, I think they just wanted me to come and I just said, we won't really want to work with you. We're excited, you know, we're excited to have the two, the two commissions talking and um, you know, their, their idea was more of like, big images wrapping around. And I stressed that, and they I don't think they were as, as excited about it, that it's really important to have content with those images somewhere. You know, I was thinking it would be more of like a collage where it's like several images and then info about. Um, so I don't know where, I don't know what will happen with it, but I said we're available to give them info and, um, I told them maps would be really neat too. You know, some of the maps that we have files of are really neat of the area. Um, so, so yeah, that's all. N no more update than that. I just told them we're available to help and provide info or most important photos that we can talk to them about. So, yeah, they're still it. interested in that because okay. Wally and I went to the oh, reception last okay. night. Okay. Okay. And they, they okay. mentioned that okay. to us. They mentioned okay. the bus Good. shelters. So. Good. They're still enthused about that, okay. and they want us to work with them. Good. Okay. Great. What 
great. Caps, STEM. Um, culture. Cultural arts and public spaces. Okay. What is it? Cultural, Cultural arts, arts and public spaces. Public spaces. Public spaces. Public spaces. <laughs> I know that's the new buzzword. Yeah, it is public spaces. Public spaces. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> I know. They're placemaking. Take me a second. And they're like really, you know, they're really, as you can tell by the squid, like, and you guys know this, but they're they're doing a lot and they have a lot of money. <laughs> so we want to, um, it could, it's good. I mean, they if we can continue to kind of work with them, I think it's going to be a really good idea. Oh, yeah. Um, because they want to, and you know, we had talked about someone going to their meetings every once in a while. I think it was really good for me to just like go, um, but we probably should have people go every once in a while to their meetings just to, just to keep the keep them in the front, you know, for them to not forget about us a little sure. bit, because um, they, I mean, they're but they have a huge, they have lots of money right through that. They did um, this, uh, this new statue out here on the roundabout. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah. Now, where did where, are they getting some of their funding from the developer? It, what's it through? What's it through, Brian? Do you guys know? Or, like, so it's most of their funding tax. is from the town, but some of it does come from the developer. There is a budget for art. And yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where are they based out of the camps thing? So they're camps just another member, committee, like, just a committee, like the historical commission. Oh, here. And they meet yeah. here. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. They meet here on the second and the fourth Thursday of the month, I believe, okay. at six thirty. Yeah, one of their so members be. lives in our neighborhood, so we talk to her okay. fairly frequently. Who is that? Who's that? Melinda Tam. Okay. Okay. It, it should be on the website too as to when their meetings are, or yes. it is for sure. Mm -hmm. so we can look. Yeah. I could attend them occasionally too. Yeah. So. Yeah. And I just think like every quarter it might be not. I mean, hopefully we'll like keep working with them and we'll have a reason to. Yeah. Um, I just think it'd be good to continue to partner with them. Yeah, and we could encourage them to come to one of our meetings. Too. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, and Daryl had come to, you know, Daryl's been great because yes, she's come she to has. several of them, yeah. so, but yeah, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's we it. talked to her a little bit last night. Yeah, good, yeah. good, great. Okay, anything else on that, and how about cataloging? I, well, I was going to ask Larry, does, he doesn't really have a, does he have a set, Day of the month that he does it anymore. They used to, no, but well, I don't know if it's ever been set. They always had a time. They were working more regularly there for a while. Yeah. I think Larry wants to get it going again. I sh I'll contact him because I I can definitely help. But for me, it's easiest if I have a set time every week or month. Yeah. So I can put in my schedule. So. But I'll talk. Well, to and him. I think that's the intention. Maybe. Yeah. Um, people have been busy this summer, but right. You know. So this is cataloging items in the museum. Is that right? Right. Yeah, as we get donations, yeah. they put it in their software. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, they have you software. Have, you have this software. is done down in the basement of the museum. We it's kind of our office yeah. down there. Down in the dungeon. <laughs> well, and it's all the spare pieces we have too. Yeah. All those right. a lot of stuff down there. <laughs> yeah. Since I've been there, it's, yeah, it's cleaned nice. out quite a bit since yeah. a year, couple years ago. When I was mm -hmm. there, so that was good. Yeah. There's still that. a lot of stuff on the shelves yeah. down there. Yeah, there's still a lot. <laughs> some of that we use in the rotations. Okay. Okay. Does Alvin, 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 yeah. Alan, she still helps do that, I guess? Yeah, she's a volunteer, yeah. Okay, because she was doing it before, so I'm yes. yeah. doing uh -huh. it. Okay, awesome. Okay, the oral history. Jill, you're on. Uh, I'm still in my, I'm going to get this done in August window. Hmm. I've got 16 more days. <laughs> 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 Someday I'm going to shock you and say, here's a preview. Uh, I promise. Okay, we'll be there. Do you have any correspondence? Uh, yeah. Okay.
Okay, um, Katie suggested that we send a thank you to Dynamic Designs, Rich um, Christ, um, because they ended up donating the brochures that they made up through yeah, Katie. The flyers. Did you and so we so have. Thanks. He didn't charge us. For oh it. yeah. It was a really small amount, but it was it was really nice. I said send the invoice to us and. And he said, we'll just do it at no charge because we want to support you. So Yeah, okay. Well, I've written a thank you Great. to them. And I still need to get one out to the Boy Scouts. Uh, Brian, I don't know whether I spaced this out or not, but somebody, I need to get the address of one of the Boy Scout leaders so I can send that thank you note. Okay. I don't think Larry had it, um, but I'll check with him when he gets back on Monday. So that's one outstanding item yet as a thank you for this. The Boy Scouts came up to visit the cemetery and Larry took them on a yeah. tour of our cemetery oh, nice. and they gave a $50 donation. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we need to thank them for that. Yeah, that's been a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, and if Two not, I know, I know if Larry doesn't have it, I know a few of the Boy Scout um, dads. Yeah. So okay. I don't, I don't I know probably, who all is up there. Yeah, I know. Maybe it's older. I'm not sure, but I could probably look okay. into it. I'll find out from Larry it. exactly who is up there. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Cemetery restoration project. Um, yeah, so actually earlier, earlier this week, um, the ground penetrating radar survey was conducted up there. And Twyla, actually, I'll send you an email uh, with the background note on what I'm talking okay. about here. So yeah, that'd be good. Otherwise, I can go on forever, probably. But um, so you kind of know the cemetery uh, history here and what we're doing this year. But um, <clears throat> the ground penetrating radar was done earlier this week, in fact. We should have results in uh, two to three weeks um, wow. for that. Um, they also staked out the perimeter path um, since that's budgeted this year as part of the work. Um, Karen and I are going to work on, uh, Karen Snortland on town staff, uh, we're going to work on um, uh, the scope of the project and some of the actual work uh, that's going to be getting done up there, um, uh, the additional work. But in the meantime, um, as a formality, we do actually need to present to um, the Boulder County Historic Preservation Board. Um, so I'm going to chat with Larry since he's the kind of he's on the cemetery working group. Because you contacted them. We contacted them, and, and they it's said just been yes, like a lot do of it. Tape and like mm -hmm. it's just been like you know, kind of dragged out our correspondence with them. But um, the way it's looking now, we did. They have a their planning commission. They have a subcommittee, a historic preservation board, and it's just a matter of getting on their their schedule um, to run this work by them. And I think there won't be any issue with it. Um, and then, um, but we'll have, once they give us the green light, we'll already have this, the, the scope and we'll put that out and get the work done. So it's moving along just a little bit slower than we were hoping, but. Did you guys take pictures of them doing that, the ground penetrating thing? No, we didn't, no. I would, I, it'd be really nice for someone to be documenting all of this, you know, yeah, even yeah. just the, sta like the stages of it. Yeah. Um, Cause speaking of Boulder County, um, that preservation group, you know, they do the awards every year, and mm -hmm. if we really are good at documenting it, then then I'm sure we could get an award for it. Yeah. So. Well, that would be actually not too hard to do because we actually are working with um, the Cemetery Planning Resource Alliance consultants that are helping yeah. us with with this project. So. Um, you know, they have time. Yeah, we just need to kind of gather end. all that at yeah. the end and do like kind of before and after. Yeah. So. So it's already been done once. I, I've it was done once, once many so. years ago, but um, that was so many years ago. Uh, and just to make sure before, we want to make sure it's it's correct and we're not putting a path down anywhere where there may be right. a potential burial. So um, that's why we're conducting it again, just as a technology. Too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. One of the main yeah. one of the reasons we did it many years ago yeah. was when they were going to put the fence up. They wanted to make sure they got the fence outside all of the graves because there were some that were out further. Oh, okay. So. Oh, there was, was yeah, they were actually right under the, the existing woven wire fence that was up there. Oh. There was, I don't remember, two on one side, three on the other, another, or five and two, or whatever it was. Doesn't make any difference. They were 
So they ended up having to extend the boundary of the cemetery out a little bit. One with C dot and one with, uh, who was it, Menkick? I think it was Menkick. They had to, one side they went out 15 foot and the other side they went out 10. How many graves are there now? 90 so? 90? 90? Well, there's... Yeah, I, guess I like can't 90, remember. Um, Look, um, so will they give you a full report yeah. of this? Yeah. I would love it if we sure. could on the next meeting, mm -hmm. if it's by then, yeah. for you guys. I know there's like a subcommittee, but yeah, yeah, that I sh should be on if I'm asking all these questions. But it'd be nice if we could present to kind of just. It's really interesting to get an idea yeah. of what they, what they found. Yeah, for sure. Do they still have problems with prairie dogs up there? Uh, no, oh, not, 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 in the, not in the cemetery, at least not that I'm aware of, because uh, they were all moved out of there, and then yeah. uh, with a barrier around the, the fence, Help a little yeah, they, they keep the gate closed way. Yeah, we did have a lot of problems yeah, prior I, to, yeah. Yeah, we've been up there before mm -hmm. on our bicycles mm -hmm. coming through, and then we would go and visit the, the cemetery. Mm -hmm. so I'm not so sure there's any prairie dogs up in there right now. Yeah, probably not. I think with I all the earth up moving somewhere. up in there, I think they're they're gone. Yeah. Yeah. Or they're really hiding. <laughs> we haven't seen any holes in there. Yeah. Last we'll time we were up there. Take anyway. a little trip over there. <clears throat> okay, how about uh, Katie, you're up next. Where is he going? Sure. Um, I guess... I mean, everyone has said they want, they like like the idea of doing this, but I didn't know after 4th of July if everyone's still feeling like we should keep, to, so the thought with this Fort Stable project is that we were just going to have a booth toilet. Oh, <laughs> I didn't slide very easy. Um, we, we were going to have a booth at the 4th of July, and then we're going to have a booth at Chili Fest, which I'll need to work with you on getting, or getting yeah. a booth. Um, what do we, I mean, yeah, uh, Dina on our staff uh, is our event coordinator. Okay, so, so should um, I email her? Email her yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Um, so so yeah, and then the next step also is that I am working on drafting a letter that the chamber um, several months ago TJ at the chamber, you know, agreed that we could do a joint letter that he would send out to all the businesses. Um, so that is on my list for the next few weeks is sending him a letter, kind of a draft and seeing what he thinks. And then we, we can sign it as a commission and with the chamber um, and probably include a flyer with it, or I don't know, we'll um, probably include the flyer with it. And yeah, and then have it at the Chili Fest and really have it at the Chili Fest be about selling it, you know, really the, the whole thing is really about um, talking about this project that we're going to do. So, um, but at this point too, we can, <laughs> if it feels like it's not going to work, then we don't have to do all this either. But it, I've kind of been asking you guys all along, like, do we want to keep, do we want to do this? Do we want to do this? And now we're at the point that we really, like, if we really want to do it, then we got to, we got to do it. You know, I mean, we already I got think, the two framed ones done, but yeah. Why? Because I agree with you. It needs to be pushed and promoted a right. little stronger than. Yeah. I think we were kind of like not. I, for one, was not sure what how to promote exactly. it at yes. the <laughs> breakfast. Right. But, um, I I think it's a good idea. It's a good way to raise some funds for the commission. Yeah. Everyone else. And they're works. very. Bill. And the pictures are very cool. And the people yeah. who did look at them were. Yeah. You know, yeah. They really good. did. Yeah. yeah. They were very interested in them. Yeah, good. So I don't know from a business standpoint, but yeah. just everybody in general was interested in the yeah. pictures. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was thinking that sending out this letter with the chamber, I'm sure, I hope he'll still agree to do, I mean, well, hopefully he'll still agree to do that. Um, it could be a really nice opportunity to also put our brochure in there. Um, I was just thinking if we have an opportunity to send out info to all those businesses, It'd be nice to really <laughs> pack it with a bunch of stuff. And now that we have a brochure and we have that little bookmark that we do sometimes, um, it'd be nice for it to also just be informational, but about this thing, but but kind of give us a chance to tell all the businesses about us. So 
Um, what do you guys, thought? everyone else feel, Jill, everyone else feel like we still should move forward on it? Oh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And I think, T, yeah. I'm sure TJ will still support it. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know. I mean, I'm sure I just, that'll make a big difference. It will be helpful. Yeah, if he, and I think he will. I just, uh, you know, yeah. I'm not going to assume yeah. that he will. But yeah. So yeah. I will contact him, you know, in the next week or so with a letter and then, um, and then I will need volunteers to, at the Chili Fest, and I can send an email about that. Um, I can be there this time. So, and that was the thing about Fourth July. We kind of just like got it all together, and but for Chili, we'll be able to really, you know, think about it and talk about it. And the um, Chili Fest is that September seventh. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So I'll send a separate thing and um, two two to what's the time, Brian? Two to. Two. Yeah, yeah, six. six or is it that what is it i think it's all day no no oh, we're there all day but it's not all day yeah the actual event is uh it should be later <coughs> a lot of beer that people are drinking <laughs> yeah, I think it's like two to five or two to six or something okay okay so maybe we could have like two, two people six. there two to six right, two okay six, yes. um maybe we could have two at a time and um kind of stagger it a little bit um and then, and I will contact. I just emailed you her contact. Oh, great, perfect. Um, <coughs> it, that's it. And and I don't think I have any other. Who has the flyers? And does Larry have the flyers still? I think he does. Like in, in the framed pieces. And um, stuff. Did he gather all everything that stuff? got packed up. Okay, so he probably has all that. I think he does. The brochures. Uh, but I don't know where all that went. Okay. Okay, no problem. They were, problem. Yeah, they were big bins. They were all in big bins. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, good. It's probably down in the basement of the museum. Oh, yeah, it might be. Huh? That, all that back there. Could be, yeah. Okay. I don't recall any bins sitting up upstairs, so it's probably down there. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I was thinking that we would talk about it at the Chili Fest, and then maybe I started to kind of draft the letter, and I was thinking we could have the letter go out like, September 15th if we can get it all together which we probably can't or October 1st and say, or we would say you know starting October 1st um, you have an opportunity to sponsor a photo and then we'd sell through like October and November um, and then I guess we need to start talking about that like the skate with Santa because the ending would be at the skate with Santa that we'd have all the photos out um, at it or two photos <laughs> Isn't, isn't TJ in the chamber involved in charge of the booths at, at Chili, Fest? Chili Fest? Yeah, they are. Okay. Technically, so um, he was telling me they were sold out, but yeah, and that, but I think um, there may be space. Yeah, just I a little side, really, and even a one little side one. Right. Yeah, sometimes with the town committees, that kind of goes through through yeah. us. But yeah, um, yeah, they may be getting pretty. So we should double check. Tight. It. Okay. Yeah, so I would. Okay. Uh, Sounds good. I'll oh, just email Dina and she can probably get first okay. step. So. Yeah, she Sounds can good. work with TJ on the yeah. And then I had mentioned to TJ that if there was any opportunity for us in September or October or November to talk to people about it, um, he said he didn't really think there was anything. But like there was, if there was any chamber events or media, you know, I know there's not like meetings, but um, yeah. so if you think of anything yeah. too, um, they have the just one other, and the yeah. yeah, and just visualizing and there's not really situations where you could set up right. sit a booth to talk, I mean, you probably could, it's just not yeah. typical, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I have to think about when the next event is. And then after hours might be a little more, not like we'd have a booth, but just kind of yeah, talk about it. And we'll and I go to almost all of them. Yeah, because I'm, I'm in the bathroom. I can wear the both, both So hats. I could be like, hey, yeah. join the chamber and by the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but that's it for now. So I'll just keep moving forward and, um, and yeah, that's it. When is the Chili Fest? September 7th. It's a Saturday. Okay, then we'll move on to the naming of the trailhead. Yeah, I don't actually have a specific update on the actual naming. Um, I know OSAC met met this week, so I don't 
obviously have their notes yet if it was discussed. I do know looking at their July notes, um, I know they were talking more about amenities at that trailhead and presenting those numbers or staff will present to the board probably on the August, September timeframe it looks like. Um, but as far as the actual naming, I, I don't think there's any progress at least from what I know. Okay. I just so. left it on the agenda here yeah. so it didn't fall through the cracks because we didn't know what the name was yet. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. yeah, so <clears throat> certainly when I have an update I'll let you guys know. Thank you. Okay, number eight I think we've already touched. Number nine is also old, so we there's yes, nothing to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, now we get into the second grade field trips. Um, I had one, just to re remind everybody, Larry had sent out a questionnaire on when we wanted Monarch to come. They have two dates, September 19th and September 27th, I think it was. Anyway, the date that everybody seemed to think was the best was September 19th. So I believe that's the date for Monarch. So actually, it's um, Superior Elementary is September 27th. El Dorado K through 8 is September 13th. And Monarch is September 19th. The other date for Monarch was, I think maybe it was the 26th. It was going to be right before the Superior Elementary. And I think everybody agreed they didn't want to do two days in a row. So we have one the day before our next September meeting here. Right. But that's okay. I think that's what everybody agreed to. So <laughs> those are the dates. And do you we wanna get volunteers like today for Well, this is all gonna two of these are gonna happen before our next meeting yeah. here. I think Larry will probably be getting an email out asking okay. people when they are available for the field trip. Um, I don't know if we want volunteers today. What do you think? Uh, I guess we can wait and see what Larry had in mind. Do I you think know the, the times of them when they start and end roughly? Uh, yeah, about nine from about nine to noon. Okay. The kids we usually get down there about a quarter to nine, I think. Yeah. And the kids arrive anywhere from 9 to 9.15 on the bus. Yeah, it depends when the bus gets in there. Okay. These okay. are the second graders come every year for a field trip, and they visit Asti Park, the museum, Grasso Park, and then the town runs a little session for them here in the boardroom and talks about the city government. But we deal with the history, yeah. and it's in conjunction with the history um, unit that they have in with the second grade um, schools. So we're just responsible for the museum. And we're the responsible for park. Oh, all Grasso. of it. Okay. Grasso Park, Asti Park, and the museum, and we usually have some <coughs> of our members in each location. We um, we can fill you in <laughs> what, what we do. I, yeah. yeah, we do stints in the I'll jail. And somebody. We do stints in the jail, and they go through the barn and and down through the machinery down there. And right. Yeah, and if like the first one, have you, were, have you, did you do them before? I, or did, were you? I did one, but I didn't, okay. I stayed at the museum. I okay. didn't walk to the parks. The best thing is to kind of spend like a half hour, kind of go through, hear it all in one spot, hear it all in another, and hear it all in another, so that next year, you know, that you guys could step in and, and, yeah. and, yeah. and like, yeah, talk to usually one. Yeah. We divide the kids into three groups when they come. So okay. you've got one group here, one in Grasso oh, okay. Park, and one in, no, over in Asti no. Park, and the museum, those are two together. Yeah. And that's, that's <coughs> and then they more rotate than enough around. in each group, let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But they're, they're usually pretty good kids. Oh, it's really fun. Yeah. We, yeah. we can get up to 100 kids coming. Whoa. About 30, maybe average of 25 to 30 in each of the three groups. And they rotate. Uh, and mm -hmm. this the morning to each spot so they get each spot. Yeah, yeah. yeah and we usually uh, have the parents or whoever's with them, chaperones, volunteers, whatever, uh, especially down in, in the park down here to really keep an eye on them, right. help us out because it's 
especially in that jail cell. They would get you like to slam the door shut and, and there's pin, <laughs> finger pinches possible. And we've only had two incidents happen in the whole time we've been doing this in the jail. Well, they like to swing on the swing that's up in Asty Park there. There's a swing up there. Yeah, well, we have to watch that they don't get going too high. They love to do it, but <laughs> anyway, the teachers and the chaperones try to keep a, an eye on them right. as, long, as well as we do. Right. Yeah. right. Is there anything that needs to be done to clean up Grasso Park? It seems like every year we kind of talk about, is there, do we need to spray for the wasps or nails or, or are we good with that stuff? I think the wasps will be something we'll have to check on. I, I can try and check on those the day before because if we need to I will spray them yes okay uh I think the nails and everything have been cleaned up yeah, over around okay. the barn but that's something a, a brief walk through wouldn't take much to do that uh seems like most of the work was done down there do we open the barn up and let them go in there I can't remember I think so don't you I, I don't know. I've never been in Grassle Park. Yeah, I think we do. I know they get <laughs> in the house. That. Anyway. They get in the house, but we got so much going on down there, you know, that mm -hmm. we don't have time to do it all. And I don't remember if we did the barn last year or not. Well, they the, might have peeked well, in. Yeah, yeah, I think it's nice to at least have let them kind of yeah. look in. Yeah, because Mary usually runs the, the house down there, and, and we try and run the machinery down there, and it they're only allowed about 15 minutes down or something. So it's really, really hard fast. to get a lot of yeah. stuff in. Just 15 or 20 minutes in each location. Okay. And they just walk up to the next one? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, they have a, a set rotation that they have to do, and they come as a group. Okay. Yeah. Like just it. for your information, one year they found a dead raccoon in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the highlight of the Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Nothing else mattered, that raccoon. It's a historic, it was the, it is a the historic raccoon. And it's yeah. been in there a while, so it was sort of uh, oh. fun with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. They came up to the park up here, and they were still talking so about it. It dead raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if there's, is there anything else we need to discuss under new business? staff in the museum can we um have twi did i miss this before i came in or can we have twyla introduce herself and <laughs> oh i'm sorry this is twyla yeah, but okay. <laughs> um, yeah. we had all introduced ourselves before you got okay there, so. sorry then i'm katie <laughs> <laughs> i have a niece named katie oh, Olson. so there okay. oh how oh, funny katie <laughs> Olson. Yeah. oh even an old thing right yeah. anyway welcome to the group yeah thank welcome. you glad to have you Thank you. Yeah, and hopefully you can meet with Larry um, when he, I know he's been busy, but um, I know when I started, Larry met with me, which was nice, and just kind of talked through everything. Yeah, it's so, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Larry's out in California right now, so. Okay. He's babysitting his grandchildren. Oh, nice. That's where Katie lives. My oh, Katie lives okay. in California. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sorry to jump in. No, it's quite all right. <laughs> that was my fault for, for, uh, Starting on time? No, for yeah, <laughs> for not introducing you. I, I yeah, it's totally right over top of my head. No problem. Okay, I guess the staffing. I guess we'll be there. Do we have? Yeah, no. Oh, and that's okay, the same day uh, as the when, chili fest. When does the chili fest start? Two. Two p.m. Two o'clock. Yeah. Okay. Which my bet is, if you're having a booth, you'll have to set up. At and our museum is really. ten to two. Unfortunately, I can't come. I was planning to do both, but my sister-in-law's dad passed away, and she's oh. having a memorial that day. Oh. Unfortunately, so I can try to make it to some of the chili fests, but I won't be able to make it. Through. I think Larry is going to be here then, but I don't know for sure. Anyway, what we do is volunteer for when. And you're welcome to come over, and we'll just fill you in on what's in the museum. Yeah, we're, we're leaving on a little vacation September 6th. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> Shoot. That I might, might be kind of close. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to be here. No. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay. But I will have canceled anyway. Well, whenever you're next available, we could. Yeah. Okay. You know, I don't know if, 
if we got a conflict with having a museum open and then being able to be down the chili fest. I don't mind doing the setup for the chili fest if we can get a booth, I guess is the mm -hmm. so I don't I don't think it's a two person job doing the setup. I can do that. Um, and, I, and really we don't need it's really just setting up one table. Mm -hmm. So I can handle the start of the the chili fest. Yeah, well, I guess if you could do that, then when we get done at the museum, we could probably come down there if there's anything else that yeah. needs to be done like. I know with the um, pancake breakfast, the town provided the tents and the tables, but I don't, do you happen to know if the chamber provides it? I don't know if they do. I mean, we have an outside event company that drops off tables okay. and whatnot for the Even events. For the chili? Okay. For chili fest, yeah. Okay. I mean, cool. We set them up for chili fest, um, but. Um, Good. I don't want to have to call no, the table. No, that changes it. <laughs> no, yeah, and I'm sure if the tables aren't set up and stuff, you probably get somebody to give you a hand. Yeah. So you, you know, instead of trying to wrestle with big tables, right. around by yourself. Yeah. Yeah, and TJ's always got some good volunteers that are walking around. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Oh, that, I just put the date on there. Larry has been going to those meetings, and I went to one of them. Wally and I used to go to all of them several years ago. Anybody that wants to go can go to those meetings, but usually it's just Larry. Okay, is that? That's the one that's at 11 o'clock, and it's down in the library, the Boulder Library. Oh, okay. And it's just uh, basically Boulder's Historical Commission and Historical Yeah, Board. it's... I guess I'm not sure what it is. It's the Boulder area people that are, it's historic Boulder people as well as. Boulder County. Boulder County, yeah, yeah. Okay. Great. All right, I've not ever been, so it'll be interesting. It's an interesting group. Yeah. A lot of different people down there. All right, cool. They're pretty much the people responsible for the awards ceremony in May. Yeah, square deal. Okay. <clears throat> and now the probably the most important one on here of all, and that's the ice cream social. <laughs> and that's this Sun this Sunday. Well no Monday. That's Monday. next Monday, but I don't know if we've had an announcement of it. Um Ann Fram usually sends us out an announcement before they have something and we haven't gotten one lately. So I've got a question mark on that because I don't know if that's really happening. And Larry, usually, if he gets an invitation, he sends it out to everybody. Well, frequently, we all get it. But we haven't seen it announced, so I don't know if that's really happening. Okay. Yeah, we probably won't. Do you know that. what ANFRAM is? I don't. Association of Front Range oh. Museums. It's oh, okay. all the museums and all the front range area have representatives on it. Mm -hmm. They have a rotating event at different um, museums and so forth. We hosted it one once, and we may host it again coming up here. Okay. Um, yeah, we keep talking about doing it, and then for some reason we just... We haven't done it again. Yeah. But, um, but like I said, we haven't heard from them lately, so I'm not yes. sure what's going on. That's a close by date. <laughs> yeah, the date's yeah. quick. A little, a little soon. Yeah, it's real soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then the Labor Day Parade. Um, yeah, so really, uh, well, I've entered the truck into the parade, uh, Labor Day Parade. So it's uh, September, the parade is September 2nd at 10 a.m. Um, I think what I did last year, what worked best was once I was aware of who on the historic commission wanted to ride in the truck, um, I sent an email to those individuals just with logistics of that morning. So I think last year, Larry and Wally followed um, the fire truck from storage over to Louisville. Um, Actually, I wasn't there last there? year. I think we had no, something else did. we okay. had to go do. Yeah, okay. Larry, Larry, I think Larry, 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 okay. Um, this year I think will be available. Okay, so um, 
working on having someone on our staff drive the truck. Um, so really, if there's anyone now that knows they'd like they'd like to ride in the truck, um, you can let me know. Um, uh, but it is, I mean, it is entered in the parade. If, um, I know you guys wanted that, so. Yeah. Um, Thanks for doing that. Yeah. yeah, I think the plan was to have our fire truck and Louisville's and Lafayette's all in succession. Oh, cute. Yeah, it's going to be Louisville's first because yeah. it's their parade, then ours, and then uh, I think it's the 28 fire truck, isn't it? They're, they're real old ones. I'm not sure. I yeah. think it is. It's 28, 26 or 28. The old one. Remember old Clint one? rode last year? The mayor, yeah, he did, yeah. With Very current, right? So yeah. I guess we need to know from him if he Very yeah, wants to do so with that. Which he should be, you know. I mean, that, that was kind of neat that he was there. But what year is our fire truck? Forty-two. Forty-two. Oh, the year I was born. <laughs> <laughs> you young kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I know, yeah, I could touch base with uh, Larry and Mary. I think they were. I don't know if Mary did last year, but um, I imagine I remember Larry if Larry did or Larry. not. Mary did, but I don't know if Larry did. Don't know. Yeah. We weren't there. Yeah. No, we weren't. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in, you don't have to let me know now, but it is obviously a couple weeks, so closer to that time I'll email the individuals that were writing it. So like fun. I don't know. <laughs> it is fun. It's a fun parade. I used to uh, when I was a little girl my dad belonged to the Boulder uh, Rural Volunteer Fire Department. They always had a parade down Pearl Street in Boulder. Oh, yeah. yes. So I used to ride in their fire truck. Mm -hmm. oh, no. <laughs> well, now you've grown up and I you know, can do it again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, I believe they're not allowed to throw candy out of any of those anymore, aren't they, be because of safety factors? Yeah, I doubt it. I pro it's probably similar to what we did this yeah. year. with. Um, so for the 4th yeah. of July, we were able to get around it, but I don't know what measures well, yeah. yeah, was I was surprised to see yeah. that. Mm -hmm. um, I did Basically, we specifically said people can only be on one side, not the other side. And then they also had volunteers walking along so that if any candy got thrown in too close, they would essentially move it closer to the people or they would tell the kids, like, don't get any closer. And a well, lot, yeah, of, and a lot of monitoring. Nowadays, you have to do that. Yeah. yeah. So I'm not sure how Louisville will handle it, though, because Superior, we consider just banning candy altogether. I'm not sure which route those bills go. I know when, when I was on the chamber board at Louisville, they pray to lights, they had to stop doing that. Kind of so I don't know if, they, if the chamber runs this or not, but I'm not sure. Yes, yeah, so I don't know either. I know they were having issues. Mm -hmm. It's been a few years. Sort of sad, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So. <laughs> Well, is there anything else under new business that we... Okay. Um, as I think most of you know, Patrick Hammer is leaving us. Today is last day, Brian? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> Patrick was our town staff person once several years ago, as Brian is now. Anyway, we wanted to send him a goodbye card. And I got... Bob and Jane signed it when we saw them the other day, and Wally and I have signed it. But um, those of you that knew Patrick on the committee here, or even anybody, you, pass it you're around. well. Yeah, I'll pass it around, and you can sign it, and then I'll get it in the mail to Patrick. Um, I probably need to get his address from you. Yeah. I'll talk to you later, Brian, about it. Well, you want to start it over yeah, that way? Yeah, I'll go that way. Pass it on. Thanks for doing that. sign this when yeah, he gets back it. on Monday so we're not going to send it in the next two days probably yeah <clears throat> and I guess if Jill wants to get on that we'll have to get with her some sometime 
between now and then, she can sign it. Yeah, Jill, if you want to sign the card, I'll get with you also. Uh, can you leave it on your porch and I'll try and get by this weekend? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, that's the <laughs> Did you say? Parents' 60th wedding, wedding anniversary event is going to be on a business trip yeah. Monday morning, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave it in the. We'll try and come by. We'll leave it in the usual place, the milk box. Yep, yep, we communicate by milk box. So. <laughs> the milk box works well. But if I don't well. make it, you know, by Monday's mail, oh, that's right. don't hold it for me. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, Larry isn't coming back until Monday, so he probably won't oh. sign it until Tuesday. Yeah, so. yeah, but I fly out Monday, so for me, oh, oh, Monday okay. my day, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I'll probably cross him at the airport or something. <laughs> Could be. Okay, well, I'll, I'll do my best to swing by probably tomorrow. Okay. Okay, it'll be in the, in the box. Perfect. Is there anything else under new business or anything that needs to be discussed? I was just going to tell you that I uh, talked to my sister-in-law who has some pictures from original superior. Oh, yeah. oh. She was going to, I'm going to go over it and look at them, but she scanned them all. And this is just one that she sent me. Oh. That's her great grandma Morell. Oh my. Who lived in superior. And that's oh these pictures isn't that cool oh that is yeah, yeah. sorry that's, I, that's I, I skipped you but I was talking with these guys at it at this oh, wow. museum on everything's that's, gone it's so sad but yeah. we are, I'm not quite sure that that address yet I'm gonna find out and so when I get that copy of that picture for you all I'll know that oh that, that oh that's was. wonderful thank well, you so much anything we can get I think we yeah any sure. old pictures yeah. of, oh that's great yes and her oh, apparently wow. it's her husband who's in that picture in the bar. Oh. Yeah, oh yes. That's her husband. Oh. Oh. Which okay. is my my husband's Oops, great great okay. great great grandparents. Did it come back? Not on? blank. If you want to <laughs> just tap it and it'll come back. Yeah. That's oh, this is hey guys, her I have to draw this picture. Okay, no problem. Thanks, okay, thanks, Jill. It's an old picture of the bar. Okay, and the pool. Thank you. Oh, cool. Thanks, Nell. Anna Morell. You'll see when you come in. Miss her name. It's so fun to see all that. Oh, I love the old one. You can't imagine. Anna Morell. 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 Well, if there's nothing else under new business or anything, do I hear a motion to adjourn? I so move that we adjourn. Second. <laughs> okay. We are hereby adjourned. Okay. Good job, Wally. Well, I don't know about that, but at least I was here. <laughs> I have a question, Mr. Ryan, that has absolutely nothing to do with what we're doing here today. Uh, well, yeah. Okay. Uh,